Otaku no Minna Yaho, how's it going? One, this is Sharon from I Am Otaku. How you guys been? It has been some time since I unboxed any Nandroids and I decided to do just that today. Before I do so, let me just showcase to you my shirt itself. Now that's written in Japanese and it says Hatarai Tara Make and that simply means if you work, you lose. Yes, I know it's pretty ironic. Yes, it is from an anime, but I decided to wear this shirt just simply because that's me you know i don't really want to work but if i don't work i don't got no money to support my lifestyle uh you know feed myself and last but not least importantly buy the toys to showcase to you guys so with that said let me just showcase to you what we're going to present today this is going to be an android of uh, sauna from league of legends and it's going to be number 1651 now for those who don't know league of legends where have you guys been but never fret i know that if you guys are not into that maybe i should explain th this a little bit so league of legends is a very popular mobile game uh it's going to be influenced by dota from warcraft and for those maybe who is more into netflix you guys should probably have known or maybe should go watch arcane because that's going to be a netflix series clearly from the backlog stories of league of legends with that said here we have nandroid sauna let me just show you the front a little quick bit and then let me show you the back as well because nandroid sauna is adorable she is one of the most popular supports there in the game itself and there's very simple reasons why simply because she's good at her abilities to shield and heal characters she's got an ultimate that makes people dance and she's just adorable you all should see her some of her skins especially her dj sauna skins it's just killer so with that said guys, I'll be going to unbox this and see what we've got in store with this unboxing. So I'll see you guys in a real quick bit. Sona from League of Legends. She looks amazing. Now I almost couldn't recognize whether she is Sona because she looks almost as identical to Hatsune Miku, the virtual idol for those who don't know. And it's because it's a very similar color scheme and in addition to that, it's got the same twin tear hairstyle. But the main distinction will be definitely the dress this gorgeous looking dress take a look at that it's got this nice light blue contrast with deeper blue and all these nice orange sorry i meant to say golden golden decal all around the body and it's, it makes her look like as if she's royalty and i love that about her what i really like is her hairstyle at the back seems to kind of fade off because as you can see it goes from a deeper turquoise to lighter turquoise and then almost it just fades off entirely and of course you gotta like the fact that her two twin tails is held up with these two golden like decorations that's fantastic and the back as well the, she has this veil that splits in two and that keeps it keeps it very really divine looking if you will now that's just on Sona herself so I'm just gonna put Sona to the side and then I'm gonna showcase to you guys the other two face plates we've got so we've got the what looks to be really determined or in this case even angry sauna face which looks adorable nonetheless i mean even if she's angry with this kind of petite cute form i think we can forgive her for that and in addition to that we've got the very crying looking ex absolutely sad face here and i just love the fact that i've never seen sauna will and so just seeing her like that just seems like oh like you just want to help her so those are the two face plates. We got two additional sleeve parts, but it is bended. So I assume that's just for different posing, especially when she's holding her harp that she uses for her abilities. So that's going to be that. Here we have it. What's amazing is that you've got her magical musical looking harp here that she's going to be utilizing for her abilities right there. It looks gorgeous, isn't it? It's got even nice little wings on the side of it. And that's where she plays her hops as she shoots out the ability. It looks almost as if it's a bow if you keep it vertical in that sense. But yeah, this is going to be what she uses her abilities for. And then the other accessories that we've got is I believe, I'm not sure the ability's name. So I'm just going to have to jot it down later. But here we've got the green one and that's for healing and shielding. We've got the blue one for attacking. Uh, I wish we had the purple one because purple one is for boosting our speed. But we've also got lastly her ultimate which is going to be this big orange looking um, boomerang effect and that's supposed to be when she uses this ability on her enemies as an ultimate and it makes the enemies dance on the spot for I think just a second. See guys there isn't much accessories here and I know that's sort of disappointing. Granted especially when you're paying quite a high fee for this character I think I paid around 60 uh, around 60 us dollars i think that's because simply put we are paying for the licensing for league of legends but no nevertheless guys i can understand that because it is going to be a very popular character and the fact that it has 
at least some accessories to complement what she is as a character in the game it's definitely a plus on my book so i'm okay with that i can go with that so what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna showcase to you guys some poses that you can do with sona and then we'll get towards the end of the review so i'll see you guys in another quick bit Right, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick unboxing and posing of Sona. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And matter of fact, before I go to the review, I guess I have to mention that I actually missed out on some accessories. Because yes, I did say there wasn't that many accessories before. But when I checked the, be the packaging behind, I actually found auras. So these auras are these circular looking things with color designs. This is going to be blue. These other two are going to be pink and green. And that's because, as I mentioned earlier, her abilities would represent a certain power. So whether it's the speed boost, the healing, or the attack, we have these different colors to put. So what I'm thinking is that you're just going to have to lift her up, place this below, and voila, she's sitting on that aura. So I think that's pretty straightforward. And again, pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice touch, Good Smile Company. And now, straight to the review, guys. What do I think? So I'm going to just make it simple now from now on every single time I buy any purchases and I'm going to review them. I'm just going to make it into two categories in regards to value and how much I actually like them. So for this case, for Sona wise, out of 10, I liked it like maybe 8 out of 10. Yeah, 8 out of 10 because um, Sona isn't my most favorite character of League of Legends. But then again, I think with more and more League of Legends popularity, we'll probably see more Nandroids and she's still one of my top contenders for favorites. So 8 out of 10. Whereas in regards to value, because I had paid 60 US dollars, it isn't that worth it. Uh, it is more on the high end. And then again, the accessories, yes, Sona doesn't have much, but then again, the accessories feel a bit lackluster. So for that reason, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. But nevertheless, that is just my opinion and review. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in my next video probably got a lot more figures to unbox so i do hope to get that all done sooner or later thanks for watching guys this has been shun from i am otaku feel free to like subscribe and comment below what i should be unboxing or what you guys thought about this sauna figure and i'll see you guys in the next video plus ultra